and the day will come across the word of the Lord. Just know that that day the Lord has something to reach out to me. So don't just try to hear what the man of God is about to say, but turn your heart and connect to the altars of the throne of grace in order to receive from the throne of grace. The Bible says, let he that come, let him believe that God exists. And by that belief, life will be transformed. Are we together? Number three, what is the third approach to dealing with afflictions as a believer? Are you ready? Meditate upon and speak the word over that situation. Meditate upon and speak the word over that situation. Meditate upon and speak the word over that situation. Joel chapter 3 and verse 10. Joel chapter 3 and verse 10. Joel, Joel, J-O-E-L, chapter 3 and verse 10. It says, beat your plowshares into swords and your pruning hooks into spears. It says, let the weak say. Hold on. Where do you have the strength to say when you are weak? There is always strength to say, even when there is no strength to do. You may not have the strength to do, but God will always ensure that the strength to say remains with you. That when you lose every kind of strength, there is within your spirit man the strength to say. The strength to say gives you the strength to do. Let the weak say. Let those who are crying say. Let those who are discouraged say. That means in the mind of God, there is no situation that happens to the believer that should make him lose the ability to say. There is always strength enough to say. Let the weak say, I am strong. He never said, let the weak say strength. I am strong to personalize it and to believe it. Let the weak say, I am strong. Isaiah 3 and verse 10. Isaiah 3 and verse 10. Say unto the righteous, the same righteous with many afflictions. He said, say to that righteous that it shall be well with him. Someone say it must be well with me. In fact, say it is well with me. Prophesy to yourself, say in the name of Jesus, I decree and declare that it is well with me. Don't mind what the devil is saying. Say in the name of Jesus, I decree and declare that it is well with me. Say unto the righteous that it shall be well with them. Yes, I know I will come out of this. Let the weak say, I am strong. Let the person in debt say, I will come out of it in the name of Jesus. Because thanks be to God that causes us to triumph. Say unto the one who has lost the breadwinner in their family. Father is gone, mother is gone, and you are alone. I may not see wind, I may not see rain. But one thing I know is that my valley shall be filled with water. Because there is Abba, the one who never dies. And the Bible says that if he can clothe the lilies of the valley and feed the birds that do not sow and do not reap, they are violating a fundamental spiritual law. Yet in it they never lack. Hallelujah. Meditate on and speak the word. Can I tell you, when you learn to speak the word, it's not a Pentecostal suggestion. Speaking the word is part of the frame. Do you know, God is very powerful and he has taught us. The Bible says he created us in his image and in his likeness. His likeness means to function like him. And all through scripture, we see God create by speaking. He blesses by speaking. He restores by speaking. He lifts by speaking. Every time God opens his mouth, something leaves his mouth that ministers life to creation. The Bible says even for man that he breathed upon that man. To breathe upon the man does not mean he used his nose. He opened his mouth and life came and entered into that man. Are we together? Speak the word. Psalm 107 from verse 2 and 3. Psalm 107 from verse 2 and 3. 
Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Let the blessed of the Lord say so. Let the healed of the Lord say so. Let the lifted of the Lord say so. It's not enough to know so, you must say so. Whom he had redeemed from the hand of the enemy, verse 3. It says, and gathered them out of the lands from the east and from the west and the north and the south. Say so. Say so. In the name of Jesus, I'm coming out of this situation. In the name of Jesus, the Lord is my light and my salvation. Of whom shall I be afraid of? I may not understand what is happening to me, but in the name of Jesus, the Bible says all things work together for my good. I expect glory at the end of this confusion. I may not know what the process is all about, but I know the end. That the end is glory and is glorious. And upon that, I place my faith. Learn to say so. Learn to say so. You don't say what is happening. You say what the word of God says. Hallelujah. Meditate upon and speak the word over that situation. Is someone learning? That means as you return back now, you can carry whatever is the, is the basis for the challenge, the affliction, whatever it is. You continue to make declarations. Even if it looks like it's a hopeless situation, like death, because the most... Um, the, the, the most hopeless thing that can happen to a man as far as this side of God's kingdom is concerned is that the person passes on to glory. So physically, you may not see the person again. Even at that, you may not have the person back again, but you can decree and declare in the name of Jesus. I know that the comfort of the Spirit is at work in this family. It may be a difficult thing, but by the power of the Holy Spirit, with each passing day, strength is released upon us. And whatever role that person played in the name of Jesus, God will come through. God will raise men in multiplied ways to play that role. See, there is a way the believer was designed to function. When you allow emotions to drive the vehicle of your Christian life, you will end up being a disaster. Sincerely so. You will need to push emotions aside and peg yourself at the word of God. No matter what you feel, that which God said, you must say. Are we together? The word confession comes from the word homologio. It means repeat as you have heard. And the purpose of repeating it is for creation, not just for emphasis. I prophesied as I was commanded and there was a sound. Is someone learning already? I'm giving you biblical keys. Number one, I said, look unto Jesus, depend totally upon him. Number two, commit to prayer. Number three, meditate upon and speak the word of God over that situation. Over that situation. Because every situation has an ear. And believe me when I tell you, it can hear the word of the Lord. Are you ready for number? number? If you have not subscribed to this channel, do that to subscribe. And I always pray. Every declaration and prophecy that come to pass in your life.